In this video series, we're going to focus on how you can create a linear gauge chart like this one here. And we'll be using some tricks to create the animation on this one. So let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to look how to create the linear gauge chart in ChartJS. Yes. So this is part one. We're going to start with the basics here. First of all, we have here the boiler template. To get this, make sure you go here to chartjs3.com getting started. This specific link you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. If you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page here where you can support my channel and have access to many source codes. All right, what we're going to do is let's start with the very basics. We're going to scroll down here and what we're going to do here is in the data set, we're going to put in some basics here. Well, first of all, I want to change this and make this 100. We're going to get only a single value, which would make sense because we only have a, like a temperature meter. So we can just say here temperature or temp and then here temp or something like that. Doesn't really matter. Temp, save, refresh. So now we have that here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the legend because the legend has no value as well. So I'm going to say here, uh, plugins. And I'm going to say here, legend. And we will say display equals false. Display false. Comma, save, refresh. There we are. So now we have this. What I want to do now is, uh, let's work on making our bar a bit more narrow. Because this here is just too much. And I guess before we even do that, we have this area here that is just too much as well. Very excessive. So what we're going to do here is, uh, we can just do it here. After the options, but before the plugins, we're going to make sure we're going to say here, aspect ratio. And you can give this an aspect ratio, well, um, 0 0.5. Let's see if I save, ignore that. Refresh, of course, make sure you have a comma, save, refresh. So now we've got a very extensive or long rectangle shape. What I want to do is I want to reduce we call the width because the width is right now the leading guiding point here so what i'm going to do is let's say 200 pixels and see how that goes all right that looks quite nice so this is quite decent for me what i want to do now is narrow down our bar so i'm going to scroll down here i'm going to say here category or not even category you can say your bar percentage because what i want to do now is i want to reduce the percentage of the bar of this category section. So what I'm going to do is let's make this 0 0.5. I think that's still quite thick. So let's do 0 0.2. And now we get something I think that's quite decent. So what I want to do more is make this rounded and make sure we have here a border as well. So what I'm going to do here is comma. I'm going to say here um, a skip. Or was it border skip? That's the one. If I'm not mistaken, skip. And then say here false. Save. Refresh. And as you can see here now, we get a border at the very bottom or the base of the bar chart. We put a comma here. I'm going to say here border radius. And then equals here maybe 10 pixels. Save that. Refresh. That's all right. I think maybe if we do 20 pixels, we get it more rounded. That looks perfect. All right. So now we have this here. What I do want to do here is probably clear up the grid lines here because we will be making lines that will indicate the value. So what I'm going to do here, we have here the scale. I guess we can say here X and Y scale will have the same treatment. I'm going to say here on the X scale, grid display equals false, save. Make sure we have a comma here, save, refresh. So now we can see here some of the grid lines has disappeared, but it's not clear because there's only this one and probably this one here. So what I'm going to do here, if I copy this and just put that here, put a comma, save that, refresh. Now all the grid lines disappear. What I want to do more is, I guess what we can remove as well, is these borders here. Let's remove the borders. Go to comma, border equals, uh, and then display set on. False, save, refresh. We have no more borders. All right, let's copy this. Do the same here. No more borders here. Then finally, what I'm going to do here on the Y scale, comma, I'm going to remove this specific ticks or these tick labels here. No need for them. This one, I would like to keep it, but of course you can choose if you want it, yes or no. 
So what I'm going to say here, ticks display, set this on false because we don't want those tick labels. Save them, refresh, there we are. And that is it. So far we have now this. In the next video, we'll continue on starting to draw these unique lines and values.